Tacoma Pet Seat Protector with no rear headrest. Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. Today I wanted to talk about the Tacoma Pet Seat Protector with no rear headrest. I had a question on the channel recently. Someone asked me if I had any, any ideas on how to use a uh, seat protector, and this is a, uh, a pet seat protector in the Tacoma here, if they didn't utilize the headrest, you know, the rear headrest. A lot of people take those out because frankly, it's hard to see out the window with them in. And uh, with a pet back there and another obstacle bobbing around now and then, uh, makes it even worse. So I got to thinking about that, and actually there's a really simple way um, to go ahead and connect this thing up without having headrests in the back. Now let me show you, if you're not familiar, these have hooks, of course, on each end, here and over here. And what those do, they actually go over the, uh, the headrests, both in the front seats here and then in the rear seats here. But, as I mentioned, a lot of people take these things out. I've actually taken the center one out there. It's laying down there. I haven't figured out what I want to do with it yet. But a lot of people take these things out um, just for better visibility out of the rear seat, or the rear window, rather. And, of course, if you do that, there is no place to hook these little uh, cords, if you will, around to hold this, these things in. So... We're gonna go ahead, pull these out. I'm gonna show you my idea as to how to use one of these things without having rear headrests in your truck. Okay, so here's what I've got. Just a couple of eye bolts. Um, I don't know, they're probably about three inches long, maybe four, something like that. And then a couple of what I call carabiners. Um, they're called interlocking spring snaps, I guess, um, to hook over the ends of the pet carrier, or the pet protector, I guess, that we're going to put in the Tacoma. So, let's go over. I'll go ahead and install that thing the way it's supposed to be, and then I'll show you my solution to getting rid of the rear headrest. Okay, we've got the Tacoma Pet Seat Protector here, and I'll show you guys how it's supposed to go in. First of all, we need to get it the right way. go like this and I can tell on this one because it has this little flap for storage in the front you take these little uh, connectors here these little straps put them around the front seat and then go ahead and connect them in plug it in like that and then on the rear here I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over the uh, rear headrest, if you will, like so. Then plug that one in, and then you would kind of tuck it around. I don't have it adjusted perfectly. Um, but let's go ahead and put the other side on. See if I can do this right here beside you guys. This one's actually left over from the last use, I guess. So we just kind of throw it over the top like so. And then the rear one, we're just going to hook around like we did the other side, connect up like that. And that's pretty much it. Now, again, you'd want to cinch up the straps a little bit to get it a little bit tighter, but that's the general idea. Um, and then they do have Velcro on here. If you have cloth seats, this Velcro here will adhere to your cloth seat so you can kind of hook it around. I have leather, of course, so it's gonna just float there, which is okay. You can also get some versions that come up and go over your door panel and stuff to protect your door panel. These are, uh, this one's just basically for seat. And then you would stuff it in under the seat like that, and then Fido or your pet goat or whatever you might have would be right here on the seat. So, getting back to the original question, and that is, what if you have these removed? Well, let me get what I've uh, bought there that I showed you guys, and I'll, uh, I'll show you my idea. Okay, first of all, obviously, you'd want to go ahead and remove the uh, rear headrest. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if I can remember how. They come off pretty easy, not too complicated. And then, uh, you take your eye bolt, 
and go ahead and push those back. Just go ahead and drop your eye bolt um, down in the hole where the rear headrest was connected, of course, these little rods. Go ahead and put that in, and then grab your, again, what I'm calling carabiner. Go ahead and put it over the strap uh, on your seat protector, like so. And then go ahead and hook it over the carabiner, or over the eye bolt, if you will. Now, you can go ahead and cinch these things tighter. Uh, if they're like mine, you can get them as tight as you want. That pulls them up right across the back seat there. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Same thing over here, of course. You want to go ahead and put your seat uh, headrest rather up. You can go ahead and pull this out, like so. Go ahead and put the eye bolt in and it's important that you get one that's relatively long like I said this one's about four inches or so uh, that's just to make sure that it stays down there because Fido is going to be moving around on your seat there so go ahead drop that in grab your little strap here put your hook or again carabiner as I'm probably incorrectly referring to it um, over the strap like so you guys can see there and then go ahead and hook that over your eye bolt. Go ahead, tighten this up. Again, what I like about these is they're uh, easy to tighten and they'll go about as far as I want. Um, I could go even higher up if I wanted on the seat, but I don't know that there's really any need to. And that's it. Now you have full view out of the rear of your Tacoma um, with the pet seat protection installed. And I don't know, I think this is a pretty awesome idea. These things are easy, you can leave them connected just like this if you want to. Um, that way when you take this thing off, the next time you're ready to go, two things. I can never remember which uh, way this thing goes, so I always have to put it on two or three times before I figure out this is the one that goes at the rear of the front seats, and this is the one that goes at the rear, um, or over the rear uh, back seat. So this will help you to remember. Just pop those in, and that's all you have to do. Pretty darn simple, and then you're ready to roll with your um, Tacoma Pet Seat Protection. Um, pretty awesome. It actually worked out uh, quite well. This, to be honest, uh, is the first time that I've tried this myself. So, um, it was a uh, trial run for me, uh, along with you guys, and uh, I'm pretty impressed. I like it. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my idea here. Again, I did this because someone had asked, um, you know, if they run their Tacoma without the rear headrests in, how do you secure your pet protector? Well, there you go. There's an easy way to do it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If there is an even easier way to do this uh, without running your rear headrests, uh, I'd be curious to know. Um, let me know. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator, which by the way, this will work the same way in too. So if you have a Jeep Gladiator with cloth seats, light like I do, this is an excellent solution if you want to drive around without your rear headrests in. Also, don't forget to click that notification button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.